before we start, um, let me just tell you a little bit about what we're going to do today. So the name of the talk today is called Professional Culinary Techniques for the Home. Hi, hey, Chef. How are you doing? Great, Kieran. Right. Awesome. Uh, okay, the knife should always do the work for you. You don't need any pressure. You don't need to put any force. Because if, you're, if you do that, there's only one thing that's going to happen. You're going to get into an accident. Either you have a bad knife, or you have a knife that has not been sharpened. The prongs are just slit here in the center, and they're giving. You take out the digestive tract of the prong, as you can see. And these are fresh from the market, okay? And you put the prawns right here and make a quick saute. Just make a quick saute of the prawns. And because this is kind of nice and buttery, for special people. I'll put a little more. Okay. Like I said, we need high heat. Okay. So let's put some, some a little oil with the butter so that your butter will not burn. Okay. And uh, so as possible though, we still recommend to use a low to medium heat. With high heat, you just have to be very careful. Yeah. Since this is a very simple sauce, we're going to emulsify the sauce. Huh? Okay, final is the rice wine. I mix already the salt and pepper together. Okay. okay, let's put in more of the chopped herbs. And now the prawns have taken a nice color. So you guys can see how effortless this is with the induction stove combined with the hard analyzed pan. Okay, and I'm going to put in a little stock and more rice wine. Okay, that's the rest of the rice wine, and we're done. It? We're done. We just have to make the sauce. We have to emulsify the sauce. Okay. okay. So, just putting in our prawns. So, we shall just using there as well our kitchen pro and our wooden utensil collection. Also available in all the simple stores nationwide. Using drives. So guys, what do you use on Chef Jean use the whisk? Normally with regular non-stick pans, we avoid using metal utensils. But this collection, which is the hard anodized collection, is a better quality uh, okay. non-stick coating and withstand. Uh, Let's just make a slip here. Okay. But still be cautious about using metal utensils in the because it might scratch the non-stick. There you go, Prawns in the metal. Alright guys, round of applause for the first place. Speedy, natural flavors, and the goodness of fresh prawns. Awesome. As you can see, I am taking out the silver or the lithium, and it's uh, no big hassle, we can go very beautiful knife. No? And the knife is not expensive. And how do you know the tenderloin is good? You pinch it. Even in the palenque, you pinch it. Pinch it. If you're if your thumb and if your thumb and your index finger sinks, then that's pretty tender. But the tenderloin has flaps. The French call this contra today. Okay? And sometimes it could be tough. But in this case, it's beautiful. I'm pinching the, the, the wings of the tenderloin and it's very, it's quite tender. So, we're going to be using this. First, yeah, so just to clarify, when you pinch it, you're supposed to feel both your fingers. Yeah, your, okay. your, your fingers are going to see. They're going to meet, okay. Oh, it's going to be the finger of the butcher when you get the butas, right? So, here's your tenderloin. So what happens here is we make a steak. We make a filet mignon. There you go. That's one. That's two. Okay. And okay, I have a weird cut here. 
I have a weird cut here. And I don't think you can cut it up like really thick, right? Okay. So this one, okay, maybe I can cut it thicker, no? This is about 100, 150 grams, okay? 150 to 160 grams and honey. So this is a tenderization process? Uh, it's uh, just shaping it shaping so that we get a nice filet. Okay. I already seasoned the steaks a while ago. No, sorry. I, so I, I, put some, sear. I already put some salt. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's put a little one. Okay. Remember, do not pre-marinate your steaks with salt. The salt will dehydrate your meat, the juices will come out, you're not going to have a good steak. Okay. I'm going to start searing our steaks. Alright. So this pan is big enough to accommodate all the You got six. Oh six? Yeah. Okay. You can accommodate six. Nice. caramelization on one side yep. and you uh, for this thick steak no, which is about one and one fourth to one and a half inch we're going to be cooking this on the first side you turn the steak two times one now I turn it the second time and then I go back to cooking it on its side again on the first side Okay, so we turn the steak uh, two times and we try to create that crust so I tell you, look, beautiful crust and it's going to have an even prettier crust when, uh, it's going to have an even prettier crust when I, uh, when I turn it one more time. Yeah, just make a design and that little tightness will balance off the fat coming from the steak. And here you go. It's very juicy. Juices are coming out. 